90 miles north of San Francisco in Salt Point State Park, I went on my first mushroom hunt. The area was very familiar to me since Salt Point has been one of our family's favorite camping destinations for about the past 21 years, back when my oldest daughter was only a baby. Luckily for me, I went with my friend Michelle, a mushroom extraordinaire from SuppersOn.com. I'll put her link in the description below. I was surprised at how many types and varieties of mushrooms there were to see. Each with different sizes, colors, shapes, textures, and smells. In the past, any foraging I did was with my daughters looking for fairy homes in the mushrooms. This trip was different. We each brought a basket used to collect mushrooms that we could take home and eat. We used a basket because when we carry it through the forest, the spores of the mushrooms are able to fall through the basket weave onto the ground where they can then multiply into new mushrooms. With so many varieties of mushrooms out there, I was surprised to learn just how many of them are poisonous. I did always know never to eat a wild mushroom unless you really know what you're doing. That's why I've never foraged before today. Some mushrooms are called the great imitators because they look exactly like one of the edible types. But watch out, they can actually be quite poisonous. Take this portobello lookalike for instance. It looks just like the delicious portobellos that I see at the market. Well that is, until you flip it over and look at the underside. If you can see why this mushroom is poisonous, let us know in the comments below. Since this was only my first time out, I'm definitely not knowledgeable enough to point out which mushrooms are safe and which are poisonous, so I'm going to leave that to the experts. If you have any tips on mushroom foraging yourself, please leave them in the comments below. Many of the mushrooms we saw were only poison enough to give you stomach cramps and diarrhea, but there are two deadly killers in salt points as well, the death cap and the death angel. I managed to pick a couple of death angels, mistaking them for a puffer mushroom, but threw them out the second Michelle told me how poisonous they were. So unfortunately, I didn't get a photo before I tossed them. Eating only a small bite of one of those mushrooms can put you right
the end Cause if it didn't we'd be working towards nothing The music in this video is courtesy of Tayo. I'll put his link in the description below. You can find him on Spotify. Thank you for watching! I hope you enjoyed this remote forest bathing Shinrin Yoku video. Remember to always do your research or have an expert guide with you if you decide to go mushroom hunting on your own. And if you like this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Ciao for now!